So going to Miss America, right, that's a huge deal. But being able to actually fly myself there was starting off this journey in the most incredible way. I actually got clearance to fly along the Hudson River, so I saw the Statue of Liberty and these really cool monuments in, in New York. And being able to do that really, I think, gave me a leg up because um, I was here early. I, I got to do something I love. I was actually living my passion platform, which is my passion, and showing people that, you know, here I am, I'm very passionate about Miss America, but I'm also passionate about my platform, and I'm living it out on a daily basis by actually flying myself to the Miss America competition. So I started flying in 2013. I did a program at Vermont Technical College where you got 30 college credits for free, and you could enter into a program. And one of the majors was aviation pilot technology. And I thought, hey, there's a major that I'm really interested in. Uh, my grandfather was in World War II, and we used to talk about his aviation stories back from the war. So I was had an interest in it. But I didn't realize that my first class would be Flying 101. Um, and I was up in an airplane, and I fell in love with it. And I was actually afraid of heights until I started flying. So it kind of conquered my fear there. Um, but after I started flying, I realized how underrepresented women are in the field, specifically in aviation and engineering. Um, in my onstage question last night, I talked about how there's 130,000 pilots worldwide and only about 4,000 of them are female. So it really shows you how underrepresented we are and I'm really passionate about trying to get more women to the field. We're missing a lot of the world's perspective um, in the STEM field. So if we could just get those women in there, women and men have different fundamental ways of thinking. Um, so I think just in that fact alone we'd see amazing results here happen in science and technology and research and engineering.